Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Ashley within broadcast, joining me is Keith of Dielectric. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me, where does Dielectric stand right now in the media and broadcasting market? Sure. So we, where we stand is we uh, develop systems for broadcast for FM uh, broadcasters and television broadcasters. So everything from the output of the transmitter up to the uh, antennas is built by Dielectric. Nice. And so what trends are you seeing as far as your technology in the media and broadcasting industry and how have you adapted with that for the future? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. So what we have been doing is seeing a lot of uh, transition to cloud-based stuff, artificial intelligence, and also uh, more IP-related items. So as some of these technical uh, broadcasters um, switch to more IP-related items, they're losing the uh, technology and uh, wherewithal on the um, RF side. So that's where we can help fill in with some services, with some products like the RF Hawkeye that monitors their sites. Uh, we can analyze that data. So we're kind of transitioning from both a uh, product supplier to a service-based supplier to help fill some of those voids. And so what are you currently highlighting some of these products or services? What are you highlighting here at NAB? Yeah, so a couple things on the FM side that we're highlighting is the RF Hawkeye, which basically monitors their site, tells them what's going on, when they have to make upgrades or uh, transitions to uh, small repairs. Uh, that's one major item for the FM side. Also our uh, dual manifold combiner. So last year we talked about the single manifold combiner. We've expanded that to a dual. Uh, for the FM broadcasters. We have some new products behind us as well. Um, the uh, television uh, broadband pylon, which we've developed and shipped over uh, six of them, currently with more in the backlog. And now we have a OptiLoad, which it's an on-demand device. So essentially, when something goes wrong at the site, it sends a signal to it, it wakes it up, and it takes care of uh, unwanted RF energy. So it's a green solution and something that doesn't run continuously because it's not needed, but when, when the broadcasters need it, um, it it's, it's there. And it's uh, actually up for an award uh, at NAB this year. So we're pretty excited about the OptiLoad as well. That's very exciting. Fingers crossed on that award. Um, can you tell me any more about your latest developments who you might be targeting with your prospective use cases? Yeah, so absolutely, that's a great question. On, on the FM side, we're pretty well established from a market share on the television side to back up a little bit. Uh, so on the FM side, we're trying to grow uh, that market share and, and meet with a lot of our customers. So uh, one of the major things that we're, we just announced this week at NAB is a partnership with SCMS. So they're going to help be our uh, help aid our sales force. So they've got 16 guys that are out there trying to get our product out there, talk about our technology. Um, so we believe that partnership with the technology that we have, the engineering that we have, will supplement those guys and uh, help the uh, FM broadcasters moving forward. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, definitely. And so what would you say is the future of the company? I think the future of the company is to continue to look for innovation and how we can use artificial intelligence to make ourselves better and, and give better product to uh, the end users and continue to look for services that we can help them fill some voids in their organizations. Well, fingers crossed again for your award and it's right. always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Same to you. Take care.